Hi everyone, welcome back to The Chosen One by Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for your support. God said you have to let this person go. They are hindering everything. You got to let this person go that you're holding on to. You cannot move because you're holding on to them. God is trying to tell you that you have to leave this person alone. You know who that person is. You got to learn how to let go of people around you in order to move forward to what God has for you. You cannot bring trash. Do you understand? You cannot bring trash to where God is taking you. God said, get rid of that mess before it be too late. You have to let go of people. Hallelujah. Shabbat, I thank you, Jesus. You have to let go of people. Let them go. Why are you holding on to people that, that listen, you in a relationship, they don't love you the way you love them. You walking with friends, they talk about you. The girl and the dude laughing on the phone talking about you. Start looking at them numbers in your phone and start deleting these people out. God said people are hindering you, messing you up. You can forgive and still move on. Move on. Let people go. It's time for you to press forward. It's time for you to not keep looking back. Don't look back. Move forward in your life. God want to take you beyond where you're supposed to go. You have to move on. It's time for you to move on. Let go of what, what's on you and what's holding on to you. You got to let those people go. They can't go to where God is taking you. God is taking you to a different location. God is moving you around. You can't take the mess with you. You can't take the trash with can with you. You got to leave that mess alone. The reason why some of y'all not where you at is because you're holding on to the trash can. You got to let go of people. In order to get to where God wants you to be at, you got to let go of the mess. You got to let go of old friends. Sometimes you got to let go of your family. Because God need, listen, God need your attention. What God has for you is for you. I don't care what nobody say. What God has for you, he has for you. And when God say, I need you to get this done, I need you to lead this number, I need you to stop talking to this person, I need you to let this person go, you do what God tell you to do. Obedience is better than sacrifice. You better obey God and listen to him. If he tell you to let go of that trash, you let it go. Don't worry about what they say about you. Yeah, they're going to talk about you. They're going to tell you you a liar. They're going to tell you you a snake. You think they ain't talk about Jesus? They, 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 listen, they talked about Jesus so bad. But guess what? Jesus kept moving. And that's what you need to do. When people talk about you, when people laugh at you, when people bring you down, you keep moving in this season. Don't let nobody affect you. Hallelujah. Don't let nobody mess you up. You got to learn how to stay focused to the vision that God has for you. God have a powerful plan, but he needs you to let go of the trash. Hallelujah. Let go of that trash that you're holding on to. Let go of that mess. Throw that bag in the trash can and let it go. Don't look back at it. Say, Lord, it's me and you. I'm going to stand in the need of prayer because I need help. Do whatever you got to do to get closer to God. Do whatever you got to do to let go whatever's hindering you. Start cleaning your house. Start cleaning yourself out. Start praying, fasting, and sweep your house out. Do what you got to do. But God wants you to let go and let him in. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed, beautiful day and be encouraged. Stay blessed. Thank you.